guys, so first of all, I want to apologize for not putting up a video last week. We've been moving and, you know, we had a lot of unexpected bumps in the road as far as that goes. And it's just been a really crazy, chaotic, insane couple weeks. So I really do apologize. I honestly, it was the farthest thing from my mind last week and I honestly didn't even know it was Thursday until like five minutes ago and so that's why you know I look the way that I do. I'm sitting in my hotel room bathroom right now. My kids are finally calmed down and you know so I'm going to try to get this video up. It's not going to be a very long one but you know hopefully next week will be better. We'll be in a house and stuff so if you want to check out what's been going on with us, I'm going to post an update on everything on my main channel. Um, and my username is Crazy Mommy Life, and I have to hurry up because my kids are already tearing the room apart. Mom, what are you doing? I'm making a video, honey. Hang on. Okay. okay. <laughs> See. So, anyway, this week's topic is about kid-friendly recipes. I am still... I did not grow up with, my family is not very into cooking. I've never learned, like, I didn't do a lot of baking as a kid or, like, learn um, how to cook, really. And then when I was first on my own, I never cooked. I ate, like, ramen. And then when I finally, my husband and I got together and we had, you know, the kids, um, I started cooking a lot of um, meat-based dish dishes. And now we're vegetarian, so I haven't, and we're very, very newly vegetarian. We do eat meat sometimes, and I don't, like, condemn people that eat meat or whatever. It's not like that, but just for our family, it's better for us if we limit the amount of meat that we consume. And so I haven't really had a chance to, like, look up a lot of um, recipes and things that we're going to... Um, you know, eat as a family. So what we've been doing is eating a lot of salads and doing smoothies in the morning. And I th I'm going to just talk about some of our favorite smoothie recipes because my kids um, drink smoothies just about every morning. And I know a lot of people when they hear, oh, you know, you give your kid a smoothie every morning for breakfast, you know, wow, that's awesome. They're thinking like ice cream, like, I don't know, like a milkshake for McDonald's. And that's not what it is at all. I don't put any, um, dairy or yogurt or anything in it. I just put, basically it's like they're eating, you know, two bananas and a couple blueberries and, you know, some kale or um, other vegetable, you know, I try to sneak the vegetables that they don't enjoy eating into their smoothies and I don't put anything in it except for whatever fruit I have on hand and a little bit of water. And I'll usually, um, some tips for this is I usually put my bananas in the freezer. That way I don't have to use ice. But you can use ice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But um, our water in at our old house, my lips are so chopped. Ugh, nasty. Anyway, um, the water in our old house was not, you know, too yummy. So I would just put the fruit in the freezer. I just buy frozen fruit. And, you know, do that every morning. Some other things that I do, um, you know, give them a lot are like, um, like I said, we eat a lot of big salads and, um, you know, try to get a lot of greens into them that way. Um, um, like, that's pretty much all we've been eating is like smoothies, salads, and then for dinner and stuff, we like to eat a lot of, um, like, Mexican like um, rice and um, enchiladas and things like that and I don't have recipes for all that right now because I'm in a hotel and I don't have the time to look it up so I'm so sorry but um, I really think smoothies are an awesome option for kids because they, they do feel like they're getting like a treat every morning and then like I said it's a great way to like sneak some healthy things in there and it's really also a very good way to give them like a boost of energy and um, like the fruit sugar to their brain in the morning is awesome for focusing on school and things this is just what I've noticed um, is when I try to give them like oatmeal and things like that it's good on cold days but every single day kind of tends to weigh them down and they end up being a little more like sluggish and you know that's just what I've noticed so, um, my favorite smoothie combinations would have to be pineapple and banana, banana blueberry, banana strawberry apple, um, and I just, it's basically like they're eating, you know, a large quantity of fruit in the morning. And I know a lot of people don't like to give their kids a lot of fruit, and I, I disagree. I think it's awesome. As much as they want, my kids are allowed to eat as much fruit as they want, so... 
Um, that's what I do, and I'm sure later on I'll have a lot more good information for you guys. Right now, things are just so crazy, and you know, I'm just glad that I remembered to put this video up. So hopefully the Wi-Fi here is not the greatest, so I'm sorry if this video uploads at like 10 o'clock tonight, but um, like I said, it's just been so crazy, and hope I know it's all going to be worth it. So hopefully by next week, things will be settled down, and I'll be able to do a better quality video for you guys. But um, that's what I do, and I really have enjoyed all of everybody else's recipes, and um, I really loved the tofu stir fry. I've never tried tofu. Um, what do you guys think of tofu? I've never tried it. Do you guys like it? I really love that. That was awesome, Naomi, and. Um, the baking, that's awesome. I, I love it. So I can't wait to see what the rest of the mommies have to say. And I know that I'm going to learn a lot this week. So um, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. And I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.